suicide statistics in Northern Ireland. What do you need to know? How are these statistics compiled? These statistics are compiled using information from the coroner service, which flows into the General Register Office to enable the death to be registered. When a death is unexpected or suspected of suicide, the death is referred to the coroner. The coroner investigates and decides on the cause of death. The death is then registered with the General Register Office and this information is made available to NISRA to append an ICD-10 code and analyse and publish suicide statistics. Suicide statistics in Northern Ireland, England, Wales and Scotland follow the same national statistics definition, that is, deaths of self-inflicted injury of persons aged 10 and over with ICD-10 codes X60 to X84 and Y87.0. It also includes events of undetermined intent of persons aged 15 and over with ICD-10 codes Y10 to Y34 and Y87.2. NISR routinely publish provisional suicide figures on a quarterly basis. These statistics are based on death registrations and are published 68 weeks in arrears. So they cover the period up to the end of the previous quarter. These figures are subject to some change throughout the year. For example, due to late registrations or additional information being made available from the coroner service for Northern Ireland, Such revisions are, however, relatively small, and a final total is presented in the annual report of the Registrar General. Revisions resulting from the review of suicide statistics are much larger than the usual quarterly revisions. The review was considered necessary following the identification of a classification issue in published statistics from 2015 to 2020 within both coroner systems and also within NISRA processes. This issue primarily impacted drug-related deaths, which have been counted as deaths of undetermined intent. As the review progressed, some non-drug-related deaths were also incorporated. The review involved a case-by-case -case assessment by the coroner on whether the death should remain within the suicide definition or whether it should be reclassified as accidental, which is outside the current definition. The review commenced in 2019 and concluded in March 2022, covering the years 2015 to 2020. It has also been carried out on a lower standard of proof. The level of evidence needed by coroners to conclude whether a death was caused by suicide. The standard of proof was changed in Northern Ireland in November 2018 from the criminal standard of beyond reasonable doubt to the civil standard of on the balance of probabilities. The review marks a major revision to this important statistical series and will have a significant impact on the existing Northern Ireland narrative in relation to suicide rates compared with other nations. However, it is important to be clear that this is a statistical review aimed at ensuring the Northern Ireland official figures are as accurate as possible. What the review is not. The review does not have a bearing on what was recorded on individual death certificates. Nor does it change the original findings of the coroner, which bereaved families would have been made aware of previously. Despite the review resulting in a significant lowering of annual totals, the government's commitment to reducing deaths remains unchanged, and the key overarching message continues to be that one death by suicide is one too many. Impact of the review the 2015 to 2020 suicide series has changed from to this.
This means that on average for the reviewed period, the suicide total has decreased by 30% annually. It also means that where Northern Ireland was previously quoted as having the highest suicide rate in the UK, now it has the second highest. The review is still ongoing for the years 2015 to 2017 due to the late inclusion of some non-drug related deaths within the coverage. NISRA has estimated in its report what the impact of this may be. Once these cases are assessed, NISRA will publish the final 2015 to 2017 suicide statistics. Media professionals should exercise caution in reporting on suicide, balancing the public's right to know against the risk of causing harm. Please refer to the guidelines of safe reporting from the WHO and the Samaritans.